questions for our uh, bigs coach, <laughs> Wayne Ryan? One of the bigs coaches. Jerry, what kind of skills does um, Luke bring? Um, I think, uh, Mike, in all honesty, what's happened in uh, basketball, if uh, um, if you have a little bit of foresight when you're younger and you're, you're, you have the opportunity to have size, um, I think it's always in your best interest to teach the game outside, outside in. Um, uh, it's my experience, or it has been my experience, that there's probably about five people in the in the world that were born to play in the low post, back to the basket. I think uh, what's happened down there is uh, defense kind of negates size down there. Uh, certainly in college basketball, uh, the double team, the post double team, uh, because the rules aren't the same as it can really, really negate size. And so uh, I think it's always, you know, if you, if you all have youngsters, as many of you probably will, and they look like they're going to grow, uh, teach them basketball from the outside in. Now, I don't know his high school coach personally, but uh, I, being a former high school coach, I think what's happened is they've really built uh, Luke's skill package uh, probably from 15 and in. Uh, the best place to be with his skill package is in the high post. Um, we've heard that, the, the point forward and all that. Uh, those guys make a lot of money, and I'm, I'm pleased I'm not rushing Luke along, but those guys, th that's a great way to create space. The hardest position to recruit and the most necessary position to recruit in college basketball is a stretch forward, just like the pros. You read that all the time. But if you have somebody that can guard down, guard a bigger guy, but move away from the basket and create space, it's a great weapon. So. Again, I just met him. I'd seen him when he was, a, I think, a sophomore or freshman. So I'm in some AAU games. Um, he's long-armed. He's angular. He's just coming into his body. But um, has a great feel with both hands. And uh, I think the first thing you do is you look at feet. Uh, his ability to maintain balance. Uh, uh, he's, got a, he's got a great structure for play. And somebody's taught him mechanics of shooting. And he's really got a feel for passing. I think uh, uh, as long as he's at Marquette, he will go down again, uh, you know, hopefully being healthy. Uh, people will remember maybe his passes more than his points. Uh, he can really pass the basketball. And uh, I think that uh, allows him then to move around and do some different things. Uh, I was just referring to him or talking to him the other day about Tim Duncan, who I was fortunate enough to coach. Um, Timmy played right on the block before the double team. I, I, you guys maybe remember the game, some of you older guys. We played Kentucky, and uh, he was double teamed by Walter McCartney and uh, Antoine Walker. That was the first time I had really seen a post trap big on big. And um, they wiped him out. Uh, but Timmy's skill package really was that of a four, and he was very fortunate to go to San Antonio and play with the true five in David Robinson and to be able to use his skills. <clears throat> Kevin Garnett's like that. There's a lot of great players that have been like that. And I think if you really look at the good college teams, there's a guy like Luke or with those kinds of skills, obviously stronger, older, experienced. That's what that's what separates the team. So I was uh, – I was excited, uh, certainly, to have in my short tenure here to, uh, you know, I work with two Clydesdales, uh, you know, uh, Chris and uh, Devante. Uh, we don't have to double team much. I, you know, I haven't been sacked in a year and a half. Those guys are in NFL tackles. Uh, and, and they bring a different dimension to the game. Those guys are such hard workers, and they're, they're, they're horizontal space eaters and everything else. Uh, uh, but uh, Luke, uh, Luke had probably a little bit more skill development at an early age than both of those kids. And uh, because of that, I think he can uh, really push his game to a level that uh, a lot of kids couldn't. So you could see him as kind of a classic four here then? Well, I, you know, I think it depends on how you use him. You know, I think the, the thing that I think it's a great choice for him because uh, whether you be Jay Crowder or Jimmy Butler or Lazar Hayward, I mean, I remember playing against Lazar uh, 
when I was coaching uh, in in the Big East. Um, size um, size offensively really doesn't matter as, as much as it does defensively, and uh, you know. Uh, Buzz is the kind of guy that he puts player, you know, I think the more versatility you have, I think that's really what's made this program, versatile kids. So if you can play more than one position and guard more than one position, your value skyrockets. And uh, uh, I think you're seeing that a lot right now at the point guard position. In, in the last 10 or 12 years of my coaching life, point guards score more now than when I first started. Uh, you almost have to because of the way the rules are set up in the space. So uh, uh, I think his versatility, but his size will allow him to guard a big guy. But if you have a, uh, a skill package like he hopefully will have and develop over his career, he'll be able to stay around the basket and away from the basket. And that will really, really help him in today's game. Jerry, given all that you have shared and your great knowledge of this game for so long, uh, not to rush him, as you say, but how much can he contribute to your program? It seems like he's, he has unique skill sets in that regard. Well, uh, yeah, he, uh, again, I'm not trying to put pressure on him or Marquette or Buzz. Um, I do believe in Christmas. Um, I don't know if I really believed in Santa Claus, but uh, uh, in my late 60s, uh, right now, to have uh, all of a sudden in January a late Christmas and have a youngster like that up here, he's, he's obviously from a great family. I, I always look at big guys and do they play the game because they're big or do they love to play? And uh, again, using Timmy as a reference, Timmy is very competitive uh, in everything video games, to golf, to swimming, to ping pong. Uh, he really competes. Um, I think uh, Luke really loves basketball. And, and uh, uh, again, because uh, you know, there are no drills for size. You've heard all the cliches. Uh, he has such his arm length and his wingspan. He, you know, now, uh, you know, we got to hang some meat on that frame and everything else, and you know, uh, certainly stay healthy. But uh, yeah, he's uh, uh, to all of a sudden in January have a youngster like that join your team. And I, I here's a just and I'm not that this is of any interest to anybody. You know, while he's sitting out and learning, what a great advantage for Devante and Chris, and for him. First of all, those two guys don't have to, you know, keep banging heads. And now he gets to play against grown men uh, in, a, in a situation where he can really learn uh, without a lot of pressure on him. And um, I thought last year one of the reasons the team played so well is because every day in practice we had true two, uh, two true fives that competed against each other. Devontae and Chris really pushed each other. Very few teams have that. Uh, we're now, uh, uh, they're going to have to move around a little bit. You know, in our league there's not a lot of guys like Devontae and Chris. Uh, there's several guys like Luke. And I think uh, it'll help both both sides so what a great uh, I mean you couldn't ask for more as a coach or as a program uh, and uh, as you guys know I mean you guys probably know him way way better than I do he's just a you know, he's just a got a great smile got a great handshake looks you in the eye and uh, if he works like he did yesterday uh, during the remainder of his career he, he can uh, again not to put pressure on him he can be anything he wants to be here you talk about his skill set looking at next year. Devontae and Chris are gone. You know, in your mind, obviously, you got to see what, how things play out, where everything lands. But do you see Steve becoming more of a five than a four? And Luke becoming a four? Well, I, I think the good thing about Steve, Steve's on too, and you know, um, uh, you know, when he gets to be 100% physically, um, I think if all things had happened the right way, you know, with his surgery and everything else. I know no one, no one is down in the program on Steve, but I think Steve's really gifted. Uh, he's behind physically and uh, just because of his injury. You know, he just hasn't got the experience. That's kind of what Chris is all about. You know, if you really look at Chris, Chris in my mind is like a first semester junior because he just hadn't played enough. Uh, and so his improvement curve is really good. But I think those two kids, uh, uh, certainly, and then you throw in a, a fire hydrant like Deontay Bird. Uh, now, again, they have no experience. Uh, you know, hopefully they're finding you know their classes and all the you know. I mean, they got a long, long way to go. But 
but I think they're really compatible. I think you could do a lot of things with uh, athletes like Steve and Luke and, and Deontay, and you're going to miss, obviously, the experience. You know, Jamil's a fifth-year kid. Chris is a 20th-year kid. Uh, uh, Devontae, you know, is uh, what, a, what a great job they've done here with Devontae. You just don't show those guys the door and just say, okay, here's what's next. But um, he, he will have a major impact and will have to because he has to play. And again, I think one of the great things, and I, I, again, I know you guys know this, to have him come in at mid-year and to, and to go through the scouting reports and to get an idea of the system and everything else before he has to do it. You know, preseason for a lot of kids is tough. It is tough. It's really tough. But it, he's, he has that advantage now of being a jump start ahead of knowing every, you know, he's going to be here for our whole uh, Big East season. He's going to know about all the teams in the Big East. And uh, I, I think that's that really, and, and, and it's a godsend, I think, for us because he, kids like that have to play right away. So, yeah, I think Steve, those, those two kids could be interchangeable. Steve's going to gain 15, 18 pounds by next year, and he's going to be a lot better than people think. <coughs> good? Right, Appreciate it, guys.